Good afternoon all. Welcome to my Sunday afternoon update. It is about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's a very gloomy day and it's just probably got an hour's worth of daylight left. Um, I've been busy, sort of busy, sort of not busy, um, potting around with things. I've only been able to do like an hour's worth of work a day. Um, the builders have been going 13 days straight. This is the first weekend we've had off in two weeks. <laughs> it was absolutely manic and I couldn't get out and do much so when it was quiet I was able to get out and do some work but when it's not quiet yeah it's a bit of an issue. Anyway enough about that. Um, Today's just a garden update. There's no harvesting or anything because I haven't got anything to harvest at the moment. So I'll start off with my new addition. And I was just watching my last week's video and I think that parsley has really grown um, since um, I planted everything last week. We had a good day's worth of rain on Friday. It was just drizzly, nice drizzly rain. And it was great. It was really, really great. Um, so everything's going well there. Um, I just watered everything actually because even though we had that day's worth of rain, it was still um, it was still droopy, so needed a good drink. This is spinach I planted from seed. And I think something's been digging in the box by the looks, but the seeds didn't do terribly well, which is why I ended up buying some from the shops because I missed my spinach. So, we'll see how that goes. Mint, hanging on for dear life. So far it hasn't been a tap to buy anything, which I'm quite surprised about, because I usually get aphids on mint. So, hoping for a good crop of strawberries this year. They're hanging on. Got some new shoots coming up there. So that's alright. They got attacked big time by the white cabbage fly moth, so they're just that's why I've got the netting on, so just to keep them covered up and hopefully they get back to where they were. I like this idea because I don't think they that's why I've got the butterfly in there. So because I don't think they go in there and attack them. So <laughs> the strawberries would be so tiny. <laughs> Dead plant. Dead plant. I don't know what this is, but I like the look of it. I think it's a sedum. Um, there's like thousands of different forms of sedum. We've got that climate where we have really, really cold winters and hot summers. So um, it snowed in South Australia this week. It snowed. It doesn't snow in South Australia, but it snowed. <laughs> The salvia is hanging on for dear life, so I gave that a bit of a cut back and a drink, so I'm hoping it will come back again. This one hasn't done any wrong since it's been planted, and I actually quite like the look of it. It's just a tiny little bit of colour. Just a, yeah, you like right there, mate? Just to bring out a bit of colour in my plants. I think I might have to repot this one though. Oh, is that broken? I think it's broken. Ah. This one, it's got some flowers on it, so it'll be interesting to see what those are like when they pop out. This lavender is going so well. Um, I thought this one was dead and it's popping back, trying to come back to life, so I gave it, just gave it a drink of water, see how that goes. And everything else around here is doing pretty well. That's the purple bloom. Now that one I'm going to be interested to see what it looks like when it, because it does actually come out in flowers. Over here. The tomatoes are still here. Whether I get anything out of them or not, that's a different matter. Um, I might still buy some more tomatoes just in case these don't take on. So I'm just trying to... Uh, figure out what to do about that. I just put a trellis at the back there because the nasturtiums behind it are just going absolutely nuts. So yeah, around here. Speaking of nuts, 
the state of it. <laughs> I know. I'm been watching you English people on YouTube with your gardens. Look at the state of it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have started the weeding. Yes. Well, you take me all year. <laughs> Well, I was just, they were just so pretty the other day, now look at them. Oh, well. Now, this is where mainly the work has been done. I've de-weeded this bed. And last week I planted some peas. So I'm hoping that I get some peas. Um, just something different other than harvesting potatoes all the time. Surely you must get sick of watching my potato reveals all the time. <laughs> Now I've cut back the salvia a little bit so that looks a bit more tidier. So I won't be able to do much more work um, next week because we're going to have four days worth of rain. And I think we this forecast of that 100% each day worth of rain, which we need because as you can see the lavenders look a little bit droopy. So, does that need cutting back? I don't think that needs cutting back. Speaking of cutting back, I don't know how to, I don't have a, this rosemary. It's just absolutely mad. It's like, how do I cut that one back? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Lots of little pretty flowers around. Um, so they're doing okay. Daisies, daisies everywhere. They seem to do really, really well in the garden. Oh, the yellow one's popping up there somewhere. Speaking of things popping up, where did you come from? Hmm? Don't know where that one came from. The only thing I can think of was I had been trying to amend the soil a couple of years ago and I had some osteospermums. I think that's the word for it, sperms. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will. Um, in the soil, and it was a neighbourhood cutting actually. Because that colour there is different to that colour there. So it can't be the same plant. So, who knows. Now over here, the lawn has been mowed. Over here, my pitiful looking lemon tree. I've got to do something about repairing, like maybe just some more fertilizer, I guess. It's the only other thing I can think of. I fertilized and fertilized and fertilized and fertilized. It just doesn't want to do anything. It's in its coming up second to third year. So, and I've been told that. Um, I've been told that lemon trees it takes about five years for them to produce. So yeah. Back to potatoes. Ooh. Shoots just pop through. So we're gonna have another good feed of potatoes. I guess this is what you would call your second earlies. I'm gonna amend the soil in this bucket and put uh, I've got a sweet potato that's been sitting in the storage. Um very much going to seed, so I'm going to see how that goes. Um, more potatoes. Garlic. This garlic is huge. Um, oh, you can smell it. I love it. I love garlic. So, I um, have been digging around, unfortunately, um, but the bulbs really aren't that big. Um, it probably needs a couple more months till November at least for the bulbs to kick in but whether that will last that long I don't know because the leaves are already starting to look a bit yellow so and I have watered everything so these potato leaves look a bit funny this time around it's a bit leathery hmm okay so more garlic more garlic more garlic um, 
and that one pitiful tomato plant actually died. So, having said that, what I might do is buy some tomato plants from the shop and I'm going to put them in this garden bed. So if they, those ones there don't work, that's okay. At least I have a backup plan. And I'll plant some tomatoes in the middle here and I was thinking of some capsicums or tomatoes on this side and capsicums here. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, one thing I notice about capsicums is that they do get attacked by ants, which I've got to be... Um, I'm just a bit worried about sometimes. So, yeah, that's it. That's the update. So I won't be able to have much to show you next week, purely because of the wet weather. We are still in winter, turning into spring. We had a lovely week last week with the weather. Um, so that's why everything looks pretty good at the moment, I guess you could say. So, <laughs> Up here, I've just explained to you what I'm going to do up here. I am going to clear all of this, and in summertime, it's going to be zucchini, cucumbers, and pumpkins because those are the things that I cannot grow. I've tried them in pots, it doesn't work. So, the only other thing I can do is turn this area into a vegetable area. Um, it still gets full sun but I have to amend the soil, it's very sandy soil. It will be a very, very big, arduous job clearing this section. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. Um, I know it's a lot of work, but I reckon I will get there. Um, and that's it, basically, we're at the 12 minute mark already. So that's the garden update. And um, I hope to see you all next week. Thank you. Bye.